Oh, you can't get away from us. I've always loved destroying the Autobots. Ha! I can't hold them anymore! Help me, Wheelie, please! Uh, who is it? You killers! Let me teach you a lesson! Stupid. How do you think you can cope with the three of us? Get out of my way! I'll show you my... Come on, hit me if you can, huh? Not bad, Danny. It's okay. Ah, don't be so smug. You're not that good, you know, Danny? Eyebrow just made the model easy so that everybody could hit the target, that's all. That's not true! Right then, try to hit the ball. If you can hit the ball, then I'll say that you're good at this. Well, okay then. Oh! You did it! it huh? It hurts. I, I told you you couldn't do it. I'm sorry. I'll try one more time. No, thanks. Sucker. In order to stop the Decepticons from gaining further power packs, the Autobots have ventured into deep space searching for them. Highbrow, you got any news of Scorponok yet? Mm. Uh, well, I just wonder where the Decepticons have gone to. Hey, I'm getting an SOS signal here. Hmm? Bearing is XY1014 degrees. That sounds like the planet Tetris. Planet Tetris? The Decepticons might attack it. Tetris is very far out. Traveling at light speed in the direction of the SOS signal, the Autobots are drawing nearer and nearer to the planet Tetris. This is planet Tetris? It looks just like another deserted planet. I don't think there's any power sources here at all. So why are the Decepticons interested in this place? No matter what, we better find the source of the SOS signal. Transform! The four headmasters head off for the place where the SOS signal is coming from. When they finally arrive at what seems to be the point of origin, they find a factory in the middle of the barren land. A factory in a place like this? Hey, what's that? Let's go, head on! Head on! Head, head on! on. Help, help us! Help, help, help us! Help help us. Help help us. Help. Ah. Stop! Ah. Stop it! It's you again, you darn Autobots. You cold-blooded murderers! They're prisoners serving life sentences! So what? Even though they're prisoners, you shouldn't do this to them. <sighs> your animal, stop the killing! Shut up, it's not your business. All right, so you can join them too. Let's get them! Transform! Transform! Ah! Ah! Where's the others? I'm right behind you. Let's work! Wait for me! You won't get away. Hey, wait! I wonder where that lot went! Let's go and have a look over there! Huh? Don't be afraid. We're the Autobot Warriors. After rescuing these three prisoners, Chrome Dome asked them some questions, but they refused to answer. What had happened was, after working in the factory for so long, they'd shut their minds off and refused to trust anyone. Was it you who sent out the SOS signal? No, the guy who sent it is an engineer called Tegrela from Planet Bistos. An engineer from Bistos? No matter what, we have to protect you from the Decepticons. They mustn't find you. Then Chrome Dome contacted their spaceship and asked the robot train to come and help. Come on, let's go and rescue the other prisoners. I'm Fortress Maximus. I know you must be tired. Go and take a rest now and we'll talk later on.
I'll take you to the restrooms. This is it. Wheelie, don't peep on other people. Wheelie, don't. Be quiet. Oh. 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 I'm sorry. A boy. Are they from Earth? Hey, boy. What's your name? I'm Danny. Hi, Danny. Let's be friends. Would you like that? Huh? huh? Hey, what are you trying to do? Don't come closer or he's dead. <gasps> I'm warning you, if you come any closer, this kid will die. <sighs> Don't tell Fortress Maximus. I want to talk to him. Commander, quick, you must do something or Danny will die. I know that. I'll go and tell everyone else. Wait, don't let them know about it. It could endanger Danny's life. But, but... Really? Don't go, you must obey the commander. I am Fortress Maximus. Do you have something to say to me? I want one thing. Just what do you want? I want this spaceship. This spaceship? Yeah, you're too much. Really, just shut up. If I don't get it, this kid will die. Wait, tell me what do you want this spaceship for? I want to kill all those who sent us into exile here. I've sworn they'll pay for this. Why don't we talk about this a little bit more? Maybe we could help you, you know. <laughs> Listen, do you really think I believe what you say? Just give me what I want. I want to give it to you, sir, but you don't know how to pilot the spaceship. If you did, I'd give it to you right now. Okay, then you have to listen to what I say. All right, what do you want me to do? Lift off now and head towards the southern hemisphere. What? Go south? I see, but only the four headmasters who saved you can pilot this ship. So I would have to call them back to the ship. So go and call them right now. But listen to me, I don't have much patience. So don't you try anything funny, otherwise the kid is dead. I understand, but don't you hurt that boy you hear. I'll give you what you want. Oh, the commander, he must be trying to stall for time. I must find a chance to get away, otherwise I'll be in trouble! Danny, quickly, think of a way to escape. Little boy, if you don't behave, then I'll kill you. Huh? What'd he try to do? <clears throat> Darn it! It's time, transform! When Danny is free, Fortress Maximus freezes the three prisoners with an icy beam from the closed circuit camera. Danny! Willie! Well done, Danny. What happened to them? Are these three dead? No, they're only frozen. They'll be back to normal after a while. At last, the prisoners tell Fortress Maximus what had happened to them. If you were innocent, why were you captured and exiled then? Well, you see, we came from the southern part of the planet. Mm -hmm. It is rich in resources and is very different to the north. Life in the south was very peaceful, but one day everything changed. The government seized people's property and wealth for themselves. Life changed. It became difficult to survive every day. We were treated very badly. Finally, I couldn't take this brutal treatment anymore, so I retaliated against the government. I couldn't overthrow them by myself without any help, so they captured me and made me work in the factory. That's why I wanted the use of your spaceship. I wanted to drive them out. I understand. I'm sorry, Danny. Don't worry, I promise you. We will do our best to help you drive those people away. Thank you, sir. Mm. Those people are murderers. They'll pay for this. Meanwhile, Punch, who joined the Decepticons as an undercover agent for the Autobots, arrives. Chrome Dome? Among the prisoners, there's a person named Tegrela from the planet Bistas. Someone called Tegrela? Yes, that's him. He sent us a signal. That's Tegrela. He's the one who knows about Scorpanak's secret. What did you say? 
In order to keep this secret, the Decepticons killed everyone involved with him. Did Galvatron order this massacre? That's right. Tegrela discovered the secret while he was working for the Decepticons. He kept it to himself. But now he's of no use to Galvatron. They want to kill him. I think he's hiding in the North-South Chasm. The North-South Chasm? It's right there. The chasm runs all the way from the north to the south. Okay. Highbrow and I will look for Tegrela. You and Brainstorm go back to the ship at once and report this to the commander. Okay. Transform! Transform! Is this the chasm? Let's go in! At this moment, the Autobot spaceship is on its way to the south. Underneath the ocean, in the southern part, are vast oil fields which produce super great energy. Ah, <laughs> don't worry about it. Even if the prisoners join forces with the Autobots, they still wouldn't be able to win against us. We're the strongest. We'll kill them all. You are indeed the great Lord Galvatron. I'm glad you have. You'll win. Yeah, part of the deal is to give us all the energy resources we need. Okay. You can have as much as you like, sir. As much as I like? <laughs> the governor believed everything Galvatron said and gave him the control of the oil fields. Get going, Scorpion! We will have removed all the energy even before the Autobots get here! <laughs> the Autobot spaceship is approaching, sir! What a nuisance! We can't let them get near the Scorpion before we've loaded all the power packs! Six shot! Snapdragon! Eight face! Go and attack them right now! Transform! Fortress Maximus! Please let us fight alongside you. No, it's far too dangerous for you to go. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Uh -uh. Train robot, I want you and your men to take them to safety now. Yes, sir. Transform! Transform! Let's get them together! Brainstorm and Hunter are in danger! Come on, come quickly! Who? Who are you? Are you Tegrela, sir? Yes, I am. How are you? I'm Chrome Dome from the Autobots. Me too, I'm Highbrow. Oh, I finally meet the Autobots. This old man is Tegrela. He helped the Decepticons to make Scorpionox spaceship. Then he escaped and hid himself among the prisoners. I've wanted to expose Scorpionox's secret for a long time. Today I can finally tell someone. So what do you know about Scorpionox's secret? Well, he has a weak spot. Oh. I wouldn't let him tell you that secret that easily. Darn you! I'll send you to hell! Hydro, take the grinner back to the spaceship! Transform! Transform! I'll get you! Transform! Chromdome is heading for the southern part of the planet. I'll leave Tegrela with you. I've come to help! That won't do any good! Highbrow, watch out! Scorpion, attack now! Oh no, I can't transform! Neither can I! 
Due to the continuous attacks from the Decepticons, Hardhead and Brainstorm have used up all their energy. Okay, let, let's merge! Yeah! Dome Dome and Highbrow gave some of their energy to Brainstorm and Hardhead when they merged. It's Scorponok's turn now! Gun and gun! Fire! Transform! What a nuisance! Oh! oh no, they're in trouble now. Master Sword! Hit on! Let's go! <laughs> Fortress Maximus, do you really think you can win with that sword? Let's see! Fire at Scorbinok again! Forget it, Scorbinok, leave now! Your ship is full of fuel, you can't lose it! Darn it, they've got away again! Leave them alone, though. We've got more important things to do now. We'll get them next time. Welcome to the southern part of the planet. After this battle, I can see that you are the real warriors. If you work for me, I'll give you all the energy supply. Be quiet! Huh? You creep! Uh, ah! You are not fit to govern this planet anymore. What do you mean? From now on, Lander will run this place. He'll do a better job than you have. Hey! 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 In order to restore peace in the universe, the Autobots are once again on their way. I'm afraid Tegrilla is too weak. He can't speak. Mr. Tegrilla, you have to hold on. Please, sir, can you tell us what Scorponok's weak point is? Please, sir. Uh, uh, what is it? What are you trying to say? Uh, 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 uh. Mr. Tegrilla! Look, there's something in his hand. Yes, there's a microchip embedded in his arm. Could the secret be inside this chip? Uh, uh. Fortress Maximus then jettisons Tegrilla's body into space. I hope Tegrilla's soul will return to planet Bistos. Mm. Hi, Brad. How's it going? It's pretty difficult, but I will discover his weak points no matter how long it takes. We're depending on you. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Sous-titrage